love TikTok. I said it. I admit it, it's true. I downloaded it as a joke and now I'm like fully invested at the end of every day. I can't wait to just lay down in bed and scroll through TikTok endlessly and laugh at dumb things about the Star Wars prequels and old school Disney Channel and Glee and musical theater. As much as like on the surface, it might seem like it's just a bunch of teens dancing and lip syncing in their bathrooms. There are so many really funny and talented and unique creators on TikTok. It really does feel like the early days of Vine. Just that like beautifully dumb humor that hits me right in the giggle spot. And I think I'm ready to step from the like consumer of TikTok into a creator of TikToks. I am gonna give myself one week to try and become a TikTok star. If you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Sierra. I make new videos about fashion and body positivity and experimenting and trying weird new things like this. So if you like that kind of stuff, uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Okay, let's get into it. Step one, we've got to do some research on how to become a TikTok star. I have a TikTok. I've currently posted two videos and I have 2,683 followers. My first video is from when my brother Austin and I went and rode around on our Heelys. It has 6,700 views. And my second one actually somehow ended up on the For You page, I think, and got kind of a lot of views with 55,000. So I've had one TikTok do somewhat well, but I don't know how or why. I I'm guessing it's probably because because it was like about the new Star Wars ride at Disneyland and I posted it the day it opened. But I don't know how to replicate that. So first bit of research, I have some friends who are actually high key TikTok famous. They're called The Scories and they are a group of really talented siblings who make comedy and skit videos together. They are so sweet and wholesome. I just absolutely love them. So make sure to check them out on TikTok and YouTube, but they actually said that they would help me get started on TikTok, answer all of my dumb questions and uh, give me a little bit of insight on how to become a TikTok star. Hi friends. Hi. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys for doing this as my resident TikTok famous friends. <laughs> How easy is it to like become TikTok famous versus like YouTube? Because I know you guys have a YouTube channel too. And there's, I feel like it took me years to build my YouTube channel. Is it actually like fathomable that I could become TikTok famous in seven days? Yeah, I think so. I would like, say honestly, yeah. like, I've seen it happen where people get literally a million in a week. Really? Honestly, if you have the right strategy and like the right motivation and like intentions, I feel like you could because TikTok just takes not like so much less effort than YouTube, but YouTube is like this structured thing you gotta understand that you gotta know to up your right. 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 TikTok, like people just wanna see you, so they're okay with seeing that more raw comedic, like, oh, this is actually a person who's you know, in their bed telling funny stories. Like, how many TikToks should I post in a day? Since they are so easy to make. That's a good question. I mean, if you're going for the most, <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta put out the most. Like, is there too much? Like, can you over-inundate TikTok? I don't think so. Yeah, I wouldn't say you can overdo it. Like, I think you obviously don't want to, like, go crazy where, like, people feel like you're being spammy. Okay. <laughs> you're like okay this person's literally posted like 20 times today like what are they doing versus posting like one to like three tiktoks a day would be like a pretty like you're trying to fast track it i feel like that would be like a good strategy do you film it on tiktok or do you use like a different app so we do both you can either do it on a camera which sometimes we do shoot on our dslr oh okay it's more polished and it's like a sketch. We and do you're it. going to that more finished, right. produced look. But at the same time, I think there's a place for like bone because it's just like really quick, really on the fly. Natural. Natural, yeah. Do you guys have any other tips that I should know? Like just general TikTok, like creator tips. Yeah. yeah. I feel like one tip is to always keep an eye on the trend. Okay. And then think of how you can creatively add to that trend. Okay. So everyone like tends to kind of like do like the same thing for a sound, but the ones that really go viral, someone who took the sound and then filmed it in a really creative way. Oh, okay. And how important is it to like 
do those trends versus like just uploading like your own sound? I definitely think it's good for discover like discoverability. Okay. And besides, uh, we don't necessarily like see average trend and we're like, oh, we have to hop on that and like get it. Right. Versus if we see one that will align with what we do, and we think that it'll be a good opportunity to like grow up and get some of that discoverability. Do TikToks usually go viral like immediately, or like how long do you need to like give them to grow? We found it happen both ways. Yeah. Okay. We, write, we post it like within like 24 hours it'll have like a million views or like a week after it'll start picking up. Because especially for TikTok when it starts to kind of go viral is when it's getting that hot and watch time and shareability. Okay. So sometimes maybe not right off the bat people are watching it enough or sharing it versus if someone stumbles upon it you know a couple days later they're like oh this is funny and then start second and then they start sending it and then you know before you can't do that, so then they start pushing it back out to people because it's getting that engagement. Okay, thanks for educating me. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, yeah, guys, make sure to follow the scories on TikTok and YouTube. They're fantastic. I love them so much. Um, and thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. I'm so excited to see your TikTok. Thanks. <laughs> Jessica here. Hey Jessica. Hey Jessica works on a lot of the videos with me. I think I've come up with some good ideas for my first TikTok. You ready for it? So I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> there's this trend on TikTok right now where people like hold up their laptop and just recite a scene from like a TV show or a movie and they literally make me laugh so hard. Like they'll do it for the most random things. Like someone did an American Idol skit. Someone did, do you remember Disney Channel Pass the Plate? Oh my gosh. <laughs> So I want to do that, okay. but with Gretchen Wiener's monologue from Mean Girls, where she's like, we should totally just stab Caesar. So I actually used to have this memorized okay. in high school. Okay. Um, definitely use it memorized. for an audition. <laughs> I don't know if I still have it memorized, but I think at the very least, like it should be pretty easy to jog my memory. So let's try this first TikTok. Cool. Cool. Okay, my TikTok filming setup is not as legit It's my YouTube setup. Okay. Why, Why should Caesar get to stomp around like she? I already. I didn't, I started it too early. I think we got it. It took like, what, four takes? But I think we got it. Now, I think I won't really need to edit this because it's like, there's no audio to add or anything. So let's just, let's just upload this. Why, Why should Caesar get to stomp around like a giant while the rest of us try not to get smushed under his big feet? What's so great about Caesar? Hmm? Brutus is just as cute as Caesar. Hey, Brutus is just as smart as Caesar. People totally like Brutus just as much as they like Caesar. And when it become okay for one person to be the boss of everybody, huh? Because that's not what Rome is about. We should totally just stab Caesar! All right, I want to make a second TikTok because the score said one to three per day. So I feel like two is a good place to start. So let me pull up the notes that I made while I was scrolling through TikTok. Okay, so there's this sound on TikTok that's like, it, it's for like making fun of how, like the stereotypical ways that people dress. And so the sound is like iconic, the history of fashion like no other. And I filmed a little bit on my phone. I have some clips when I filmed in my Jojo Siwa Heelys for that video. If you haven't seen that, you can click the card up there, but I could maybe edit those clips into like a, a TikTok for that. Let me see if I can do this. Okay, you know what? I am a YouTube girl through and through. I'm gonna edit this on Final Cut Pro just because editing on these TikTok apps is a little frustrating when I've like already taken the clips. Iconic. She's an artist. She is the history of fashion. Like no other designer. She's a legend. Modern. Graphic. Okay, so up until now, I've really just been trying to come up with ideas for like silly comedy TikTok. Question is, is there any room for like body positive, like confidence kind of TikTok? Cause I see a lot on my For You page of people doing these like, just I'm like pointing at different words. I don't know, what if I did one that was like, even just me like pointing at different words of being like, you don't need to be self conscious because you look Great, I promise. I don't know, like, is there room for that kind of thing? Cause I think that could be cool. All right, I'm gonna go for a third TikTok today. Super simple, but I've seen this one where it's this song that goes like beat, 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 and every beat people like point at a different word. So I'm gonna do it. And mine's gonna say, things I wanna change about my body this year. None, cause I look great and you do too. Don't waste your life obsessing over aesthetic changes, ladies. I don't know if this kind of content is like a TikTok thing at all, but it's worth a shot and 
as much fun as I had today creating those like silly, you know, funny TikToks. I feel like for me at the end of the day, the reason that I wanna be a YouTuber or a TikToker, but just to be like a an online person at all is to try to spread a message of positivity and get women to think differently about themselves and their bodies. So this might flop, but who cares? We'll give it a shot. Okay, I finished the TikTok. I actually think it came out really, really cute. I liked the idea of it. I was like dancing around. All right, writing a caption and post. Let's see how it does. No, I had a typo in my TikTok and I posted it. Dang it. Okay, I put, don't waste you life obsessing over aesthetic changes. Okay, we need to fix this right now. Oh gosh, I may have deleted it too soon. No, wait, okay, I deleted it and it has the like TikTok logo on it. Is that gonna mess it up? Oh gosh, oh gosh, okay, hold on. Okay, so I fixed it by just overlaying new text, but the only version of the video I had saved was like the actual TikTok. So I don't have the name of the audio and I couldn't freaking find it. It's just gonna say original sound Schultzy instead. When people are scrolling through that sound, they won't see mine, which kind of sucks, but you know what? I'm just gonna post it anyways, cause I really like this one. Spell check your TikToks, ladies and gentlemen. the next day let's go check in on my tiktok and see how yesterday's videos did okay so i am now at 6762 followers on tiktok 46,000 likes and one of my tiktoks which is the one that arguably i did not think was gonna do well is the jojo siwa healy's tiktok it has 114.8 thousand views the gretchen wiener TikTok also did well with 68.4 thousand views and then my like body positive dancing one has 11.3 thousand views so definitely the lowest viewed but honestly I feel like I want to still do more of that stuff because for me like even if only 11,000 people saw it if one person like one girl saw that video and it made her think differently about her body or like start to shift the way that she views herself. Like to me, that's a win, even if it's just one person or two people, like that's the goal for me. So maybe we'll do another one like that. Definitely gonna have to do another Healy video because clearly you guys are here for the Healy content. And then uh, I feel like we could do another uh, Mean Girls like holding the laptop scene. I don't know, we'll have to brainstorm a little bit. Okay, so Carly and my editor Rachel got here and we were trying to brainstorm some ideas for some good TikToks today. And as we were scrolling, we saw this one that was like someone using the old Zay Frank video about like what your dog actually thinks. And it was so funny. So there was like five or six different variations of those and we picked one that we liked for Miss Bella here. And we're gonna get some nice B-roll a Bella looking like a sad girl. Yes, that should be very easy. Mm -hmm. Sit. Ah! Hey, this is not about you, okay? So since we have Rachel here who edits most of my main channel videos, she's gonna actually edit this TikTok and uh, she's a much better editor than me. So it'll probably come out better than yesterday's. Treat for you for being a good actor and treat for you, I guess, for sitting there. All right, Rachel is editing away at that. All right, you guys ready to see the final TikTok? Adding a caption and we'll post it. It has come to my attention that the authorities have two hands that seem to have made it the sadistic policy only to pet me with one of them at a time. Half of love is just low, which is how I feel. My spirit is breaking. I am going to try to learn another scene from Mean Girls to do the same, like holding the laptop thing. Off the top of my head, I think I wanna do the one about the super jumbo tampons. <laughs> Just cause that's like such a quotable, quotable scene for me. And then Carly, you should walk behind me and be like, yeah, I can't do this when the principal says that. <laughs> All right, you ready Carly? We'll yeah. do a couple takes cause it's probably gonna take me a while to get it right. Good, look at it, it feels can't yeah, I can't do this. Okay. And then you can keep walking through the frame. Okay. Yeah, Somebody wrote in that book that I'm lying about being a virgin because like, oh, I said because it's cuz. Okay, hold on. Somebody wrote in that book that I'm lying about being a virgin because I use super jumbo tampons, but I can't help it if I've got a heavy flow and a wide set vagina. Yeah, I can't do this. <laughs> yeah, I can't do this. <laughs> yeah, I can't do this. Yeah, I can't do this. 
Somebody wrote in that book that I'm lying about being a virgin because I use super jumbo tampons, but I can't help it if I've got a heavy flow and a wide set vagina. Yeah, I can't do this. So, so far today, we have that one and the one of Bella up. The dog one is not doing so well at first, but neither did the Jojo Siwa one last night. So, I feel like it's hard to know on TikTok. Sometimes ones do super well immediately, and sometimes they take a long time to grow. So, you just never know. And I think we're gonna have to for sure, for sure, for sure, do another Heelys TikTok because that one's just doing so well, and your girl loves her Heelys. So, I think what we were thinking of, there's this sound that's like, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. So, we're gonna do that, but me in Target with my Heelys. I think that could be good. So we'll go to Target in a little bit and film that. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. So we, I'm, I'm in my bra because we were filming a sponsored video for Savage X Fenty, but that's not this video. This video is not sponsored. Um, I just went and checked on the Mean Girls TikTok, the one that we filmed today of the wide set vagina and the heavy flow. And apparently it's a big hit because the video of Bella has 3,092 views. So one of me reading the Mean Girl scene has 79,000 views in two hours. <laughs> I was gonna say I've never had a TikTok grow this fast, but I've also only been making TikToks for like a day and a half. Am I becoming TikTok famous? Is this how it happens? Also, I'm kind of at a loss for how to define what it means to become TikTok famous. I wanna have some sort of measurable thing that at the end of this week, at the end of this video, I can wrap it all up in a nice neat bow and say I did become TikTok famous or I did not. But there isn't really like a threshold, you know? So I asked you guys on my Instagram, what do you think makes someone TikTok famous? And once we get some answers, we'll go through them and try to figure out which of those goals I can try to meet this week. All right, we are here at Target Golden Hour for uh, a Heelys TikTok. <laughs> Thanks. Do they roll? Yeah, they do. <laughs> do they roll? Yeah, they roll. <laughs> All right, Rachel edited the Heelys TikTok. Let's see it. Don't be suspicious. 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 Also, the Mean Girls TikTok is now at 350,000 views and I passed 10,000 followers. So, TikTok day two went well. All right, it is day three. Let's go check on my TikTok and see how we're doing. So this morning I have 16.5 thousand followers, 288.2 likes, and the big TikTok from yesterday that like, honestly, I think I would count this one as going viral. It was of course the wide set vagina and the heavy flow from <laughs> Mean Girls has 851 thousand views. That one blew up. The other TikToks we made yesterday, the one of Bella has 14.7 thousand. The one of me and my Heelys has 18.7 thousand. And then I actually filmed one more TikTok last night before I went to bed. It literally took me like maybe three to four minutes to film. So it was really easy. I'll show it to you guys now. When people say, just brush your naturally curly hair, just brush it. Okay, sis. Now what? Like what's next, Tiffany, huh? What do I do now? I posted that one this morning around like 10 a.m. And right now it has 4,791 views. I think my plan moving forward is to do that, like film at least one TikTok at the end of the day that I don't post until the next day because I feel like they do better in the morning and early afternoon than when I post them in the evening. So today, first TikTok we are gonna film is uh, reciting another scene since those have done so well, but I'm gonna branch out from just doing Mean Girls and we're gonna do a Legally Blonde scene. All right, just filmed it. You guys ready to see it? Okay. Hi, I'm Elle Woods, and this is Bruiser Woods, and we're both Gemini vegetarians. I have a bachelor's degree in fashion merchandising from CULA, and I was a Zeta Lambda New sweetheart, president of my sorority, Delta New, and last year I was homecoming queen. Oh, two weeks ago, I saw Cameron Diaz at Fred Siegel, and I talked her out of buying this truly heinous Angora sweater. Whoever said orange was the new pink was seriously disturbed. So I literally just posted that 30 seconds ago. This is Bruiser's moment to shine. Bella had her moment yesterday. And I actually did name my dog Bruiser after Bruiser from Legally Blonde. So I feel like I've just been waiting for this moment all my life. We'll see how this one does in comparison to the Mean Girls one. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna have another TikTok this week that does as well as that Mean Girls one yesterday. My goal is to have at least one TikTok 
TikTok every day that gets over 100,000 views. Because the first day we had the JoJo C11, second day we had Mean Girls, what will today's be? I don't know. Okay, so for the next TikTok, it was Skylar's idea. Skylar's Hi. here! Hey! Everyone wants to know if the baby's here yet. The baby is not here. But as you're watching this, probably. Probably. Because I think this is going up in February. So, definitely. definitely. <laughs> so, Skylar and I were brainstorming, and she was like, you should do a story time, because people do the story times with the, like, electric, or, like, the auto-tune sound. She was like, do you have any weird stories of when you were a birthday party princess? And I told her this one that I'll just let you guys watch, but we're gonna film it as a TikTok with the background doing green screen of me when I played Anna. <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> Also, I don't know how I've never heard this story. I I honestly have so many birthday party princess stories. This isn't even a bad one. So when I was in college, I used to work as a birthday party princess. That's me. I played Anna. And one time I was at a party as Anna. And a little girl about four years old came up to me and she said, didn't your parents die in a boat wreck? And I just smiled and said, yes, but at least I have my sister Elsa. And this little girl looked me dead in the eyes and said, I know how you feel. My dad left and never came back. That might be my favorite one I've made so far, just because it is a true story. And I did cry in my car after that experience. <laughs> Okay, we just finished lunch. The uh, birthday party princess TikTok is doing super well. Next one we're doing is with Skylar. Hi. I'm very excited. <laughs> There's this trend where people like recreate old photos to that song, uh, I'm Just a Kid and Life is a Nightmare. But we're gonna recreate this photo uh, from, would this have been 2012? I think. I, I think summer 2012, we're sitting in a fridge at my parents' house because it was so hot that summer. Skylar's holding maracas and I'm holding bruiser. So we're gonna recreate that and make it a TikTok. So you're kind of sitting on me, right? I don't wanna crush you. No, you're good, you're good. <laughs> I've been working in the gym, I've been doing my leg days. And then I'm like here? Yeah. All right, we finished our I'm Just a Kid photo recreation TikTok. Here it is. This song is copyrighted, so I'm trying to do something else for it. I'm just a kid and I don't know. Okay, we just finished recording an episode of the podcast. Let's go check on these TikToks. Um, what do you think the Disney Princess TikTok is at? I'm gonna be bold and I'm gonna say it's approaching 300,000. I'm gonna say 280. If TikTok was monetized, that's the thing I have not I talked about. I, people make zero dollars from TikTok unless they have sponsorships. Yeah, see? <gasps> what? That is crazy. 560. Shut up. I feel like you're TikTok famous. I am not going to check this app that much more until tomorrow. Yeah. I'm going to film two more TikToks tonight that I will show you guys tomorrow. Um, but I'm not going to post them again until tomorrow. I think the ones in like the mid-afternoon do the best. Yeah. So we'll check in tomorrow. Okay, so still day three, but I have Steven here with me. He just helped me film a TikTok. Your first TikTok. I'm a creative genius. What can I say? <laughs> All right, well, here it is. I can hear you, but I won't. So I got the idea for this one this morning because I've been seeing that challenge for like the past couple weeks and I was trying to think of a way I could do it and I didn't have any good creative ideas. And then today I literally snoozed my alarm. I, I actually think like 11 times and uh, I ended up being like 45 minutes later for the gym that I planned, but I made it so it's fine. And then I was like, oh my gosh, what if I did that Elsa thing? But it was my alarm. See, I need to watch TikTok more because I need the like the that if I did that Elsa thing. See, that's I don't the thing. Have that. you I don't have, have those pieces. You have to be part of the TikTok culture. But I, I'm gonna post that one tomorrow. I also filmed another one with Skylar before she left, another Mean Girls one. I just wish we could all get along like we used to in middle school. I wish that I could bake a cake made out of rainbows and smiles and we'd all be happy. Go so I'm gonna post both of these tomorrow, but I, I was going to show Steven my Disney Princess TikTok. And you guys, 
it is at 986,000. That's gone a million. Dude, that's, what? I'm gonna have a TikTok with a million views. When I got views. home, that was like 850, and that was only 40 minutes ago. Okay, TikTok, I stand by this. TikTok is the only social media platform where someone with, what do I have, 29,000 followers can post a video and that day get a million views and have that not be like a crazy thing. Like that's happening to a bunch of other people. And that's because of that for you page. Like it's, yeah. and the content is such short form. Someone who's sitting there and scrolling can watch like 200 TikToks. Yeah. TikTok has to be one of the highest forms of consumption. And what's really surprised me is like the amount of likes versus the amount of views. I would think that people watching TikTok would be more passive, but it's like a crazy high ratio. Like this has almost a million views and has 265,000 likes. You should make a TikTok with me because you filmed this one for me, but you weren't in it. Some things are just better left not done. <laughs>morning let's go see what is going on on tiktok the princess tiktok is now at 1.6 million views the l woods tiktok grew a lot too it's at 144,000 views the other two from yesterday the hair brushing one is at 32.8 and the one of me and skylar recreating a photo is at 31.5 and then also just I think like an hour ago, I posted the one that Steven and I filmed last night, the alarm clock Elsa one, and that is at 3,088 views. And I have 37.4 thousand followers. And I'm, I think, I think I can get to a million likes by the end of this week because I'm at 792,000. I feel like this TikTok video is going very differently than I thought. I I didn't think I was gonna like TikTok this much. I didn't think I was gonna have as much fun as I am. I don't know. I didn't know if, if I would be able to create videos that kind of fit into the TikTok mold, but apparently it's doing pretty decent. So I'm gonna post right now the new Mean Girls one that Skylar and I filmed yesterday. And uh, I think I'm gonna film two TikToks today because I've already posted two that I filmed yesterday. There's this trend where you like just, it's just like a Nickelodeon sound. It's literally like four seconds long where you just like pop up and then like words go on the screen and then you go down. So I wanna do that with like something body positive. I think that'd be fun. <laughs> and easy and quick. See, this is also why I like TikTok. Does not take nearly as much time or effort or planning as like a YouTube video or even like an Instagram post. And hopefully at least one person who's scrolling through their TikTok and not feeling the best about themselves will get that little reminder. But I'm not gonna post that one yet because I just posted the Mean Girls one, so I put it in my draft and I will post it probably in like an hour or so. I was thinking more about like my Disney princess stories. I didn't think I had any more like really funny ones. And I remembered this one from when I played Ariel and I filmed another TikTok telling a birthday party princess story. So here is that. So here's another uncomfortable story about when I worked as a birthday party princess. I usually played Anna or Rapunzel, but one day the girl who played Ariel got really sick. So they said, Sierra, could you play Ariel? And I said, sure. So I go to this party as Ariel and it's actually going pretty well until the end when I was giving the kids their seashell favors and a little boy came up to me and he said, Ariel, can I touch your seashells? And I said, sure. And I reached my hands out so he could touch the seashells I was holding. And this little boy touched my a boobies because I was wearing a seashell bra. Steven, what do you think? It's good. We sat around because there's actually more than one funny story. I have so but, many, but they're hard to remember because that was like three, four years well, ago. I'm just choosing the ones that are good to tell people. Yeah, there's a couple that I would not repeat. Like, I filmed five, well, I posted five TikToks today. The score is said one to three, but I'm an overachiever. This one truly is just for me though. I really don't think it's gonna perform very well. It's me reciting the most iconic scene from Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. I have brought peace, freedom, justice, and security to my new empire. Your new empire? Don't make me kill you. Anakin, my allegiance is to the Republic, to democracy! If you're not with me, 
then you're my enemy. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. I will do what I must. You will try. Ah! I posted that 41 minutes ago and it is at about 4,000 views. So that is gonna be it for day four and I will check in with you guys. We'll see where everything's at tomorrow morning. Okay, it is the morning of day five. Let's take a look and see how my TikTok is doing today. Also, I got a new phone case that has Baby Yoda on it. Okay, oh my gosh, wow. The Ariel Party Princess story time is at 1.1 million views. The other ones I posted today, let's see. The Elsa Alarm Clock one, 27.6K. The Mean Girls one, 43K. The Body Positive one, 29.4K. Quoting that whole scene from Revenge of the Sith, 28 point eight K and then this morning an hour ago I actually posted a TikTok that we filmed last night so here's that Long answers only who's the president of the United States Zach Afron as Troy Bolton what is your underwear um not wearing any <laughs> <laughs> what's your husband's name Shrek <laughs> what lives inside of a turtle shell I can I buy a Tesla where do you live mm, your butthole <laughs> So the wrong answers only TikTok is at 14.7 thousand after only an hour. I feel like that's pretty good. I don't have access to any analytics in TikTok. I asked the scories about that and they said you get that like eventually as, as your TikTok grows. So hopefully I will get access to it eventually. That would be great. But another thing that I thought was really interesting was last night we went out to dinner with my friends Kenzie and Skylar and Skylar's husband Kyle and my husband Steven and it was so fascinating to me how all of us are like what we watch on TikTok and what's on our for you pages are so incredibly different even though we're all somewhat in the same demographic like we're all millennials Steven and Kyle are both you know men and their for you pages are incredibly different and then me Kenzie and Skylar ours are totally different like Kenzie was talking about how her for you page has like all the dances and she was talking about like all the the trends that she sees and all of the like famous TikTok teens and I was like like, I don't see any of that. I don't know, the TikTok algorithm must be so smart to know exactly like who to target with what, it's crazy. But it was Kenzie's idea to do that wrong answers only video and none of the rest of us had seen that trend. And it was really fun and really funny and we were just laughing so much and it seems like it's doing like pretty well too. So today I am actually gonna be heading up to Disneyland later tonight. We're going there all day tomorrow for my birthday. My birthday was yesterday, but we're celebrating it on Sunday. Sunday. And I've got a lot of plans for the Disneyland TikToks that I want to film on Sunday, but that's for tomorrow. Today, I posted the wrong answers only, and I have two other ideas that I think I want to film. I have another reciting a scene I want to do. Uh, this one is like a very specific character from a Nickelodeon show of my youth, and hopefully some other people out there get it because otherwise it's just going to be incredibly weird. Chocolate! I remember when they first invented chocolate. Sweet, sweet chocolate. I always hated it. That was like my favorite SpongeBob line of all time. I don't know why. I just, I thought it was so funny. I still think it was so funny. I feel like SpongeBob probably has a lot of good lines that I could do for TikToks. Luckily with these ones, there's no editing I need to do, so I can just post it. Caption, if you don't know this scene, you lose the right to call yourself a millennial. I had another idea to do this, like there's this trend right now where um, it's basically like what I thought I would look like and then what I actually looked like. And I had a really bad haircut at one point, well, a lot of points in my life, but in third grade specifically, I had the worst bangs I've ever seen. So I was gonna do like what I thought I'd look like with bangs and then what I actually looked like with bangs. So I am gonna do that one later, but I can't do that till I get to my parents' house because they have all the awkward pictures of me with my bangs. <laughs> All right, so I did end up making the TikTok of what I thought my bangs would look like and what they actually looked like, so here's that. Uh -oh. 
<laughs> so yesterday was the first day that I feel like, I don't know, maybe my expectations were set too high by the past few days, but the first day that everything just kind of did meh. Like the wrong answers only one has 61.5K, the SpongeBob one has 86.6K, and then the bangs one has 14.7k. So none of them like blew it out of the park, but they also they also like did pretty good still. I feel like I've kind of gotten unrealistic expectations on TikTok because I've had three now that went pretty viral and yesterday they all just kind of were average, which is fine and you know numbers aren't everything. I had a ton of fun making all of those. So today we are up in Anaheim. We're going to Disneyland for my birthday and I have a pretty good list of TikToks that I would like to make at Disneyland. We'll see if I can actually fit them all in because we also have like, you know, a full day at Disney with my family. But uh, I've got some ideas and they're all ones I'm pretty jazzed about. <laughs> Having a great birthday celebration day at Disneyland today and I have posted two TikToks. So here is the first one. It is Star Wars meets churros. I know this. General Kenobi. <laughs> that one was actually really funny to film because uh, some of the churros were breaking. The churros were falling apart, and we were laughing, and it was it was pretty funny. And then we just filmed another one. Here it is. Bam, 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 copyright, baby. Nice little sibling photo recreation. This one I only posted six minutes ago and it already has almost 1,200 views. I have two more that I'm gonna try to film before the day ends, but if I film them too late, I'll probably just post them tomorrow. I just posted my third TikTok of the day. This one, this one, I had found this sound like a couple days ago when I was scrolling through my For You page and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to do this at Disneyland and just roast myself a little bit. So here it is. So we all know horse girls, and we all know car guys, but what if I told you that there was something much worse? Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you Disney adults. I was laughing so hard at <laughs> the clip where I freaking trip on Main Street. That happened this morning, and thank goodness I didn't actually really hurt my ankle because that could have been rough. <laughs> I'm glad I was able to get the third one up at a decent time. I think, what time is it right now? It's 3.50, so not too late. But I do think I'm gonna film one more and maybe post it today or tomorrow, again, depending on the time. <laughs> Right, TikTok day seven, the last day of the week. Let's see where we are at from yesterday's videos. So I currently have 69.7K followers and 1.4 million likes. I think even with a day left of this video, that's much, much, much higher than I expected. I just thought I was gonna have fun being like silly and dumb, which I definitely am, but I am surprised that not only have I had a few videos that went really viral that have kind of grown my TikTok a little bit, but if you look at like my views from yesterday and, and even just the days before that, even the videos that aren't going viral, I'm surprised at how like consistently they're being seen. So the Star Wars churro TikTok has 12,000 views. That's definitely, I think my lowest view, maybe not my lowest viewed right off the bat because like that TikTok of Bella now has 41.8 thousand views, but I think after the first day it only had like 7,000. So maybe this one will keep growing like those ones have. The one of Austin and I recreating our childhood photo has 83.7 thousand views. And then my Disney adults video, which I think was definitely my favorite of yesterday, has 106.6 thousand views. I also just like 15 minutes ago posted another TikTok. It's one that I filmed yesterday, but it was too late to post. So here is that. Copyright. Watch me. Super simple, but I thought it was pretty funny and I had been seeing that trend going around of that using that same song snippet. So yeah, today, since it's my last day, I think I wanna try a little bit of everything. I have another body positivity TikTok that I wanna film. I have like a transformation that I'm doing because I'm about to go get my hair done right now actually. So this morning when I woke up looking super, super rough, I filmed um, like the intro part of that. And then when I get home and I have my nice transformation, I'll do my makeup, I'll put on a cute outfit and get that. That done and then I think I either want to do another birthday party princess story time or another one of the like reciting a scene as I hold the laptop because those two have been consistently my favorite to make like I have a lot of fun making them and it also seems like people tend to like those ones so I feel like 
one of those, a body positivity one and a transformation, plus the Disney one I already posted. And uh, we'll be looking good for our last TikTok day. Oh my gosh, okay. It is now four o'clock and I just got home from my hair appointment. So I'm running a little behind on TikToks today. Luckily, the one that I posted earlier today, the Disney one, is doing super well. It has 130,000 views. And I just did my makeup, touched up my hair a little bit by pulling these like front two pieces back. And I'm gonna film the end of the outfit transformation one and hopefully get that one up ASAP because I've noticed that I think TikToks definitely do better when you post them between like late morning, early afternoon. So I'm getting a little on the late end and this is only the second one of the day, so. We gotta get this done. I filmed this one on my iPad and I marked where it was with some tape just to make sure it didn't move. And then down here on the ground, I used that orange tape to mark where my toes were so that I'm in the exact same spot cause I like jump and then I like land and I'm in a different outfit, different hair, different makeup. So hopefully everything stayed pretty still. Okay. That's not bad. I'm gonna redo that probably at least one more time, maybe try it a second time, just to try to get like the jump perfect and the posing a little bit more on the music. But I feel like that actually looks pretty good. All right, I finished it, I posted it, here it is. <laughs> I am gonna film another quick TikTok. Actually, I think I'm just gonna stay in the same outfit because it's really freaking cute. Or maybe should I change the shirt? I don't know, I don't know. It's a body positivity one that I thought of like three days ago when I heard this sound. All right, I just finished filming it. I'm about to post it. It is now 5.24, a little bit later than I wanted, but I ended up doing this one differently and I think that made it come out like so much better. Instead of just wearing one outfit and wearing like the same outfit that I did in the last TikTok, I showed four outfits. So here is this TikTok. More copyright, more copyright. Do, 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 do. Oh my mama, I changed my clothes. Look at me now, my outfit is cute. I really love this one. I think it's really cute. I really like the message. This is definitely my favorite of the like body positivity ones that I've done and actually probably one of my favorite TikToks I've made the whole week. So I'm gonna post it and uh, I think I'm gonna film one more, but maybe not post it till tomorrow morning, even though I know that'll technically be the end of this week. Just kidding, new plan. Last hurrah to try to get TikTok famous before the end of the week. So back when I was a birthday party princess in college, I used to play Rapunzel from time to time. And the thing about playing Rapunzel is she had this really, really long, thick wig. Now the wig was pretty freaking cool, except for the fact that every kid in the world wanted to touch it and hold it and pull it. So one time I was at a party as Rapunzel and a little boy came up behind me and said, Rapunzel, can I touch your hair? And I said, well, I suppose so, but don't try to take it like Mother Gothel did. And what did this little boy do? He yanked off my Wig! Okay, so after my week of attempted TikTok fame, let's take a look and see where my profile's at. So I have posted 27 videos. I have 76.6 thousand followers and 1.5 million likes. I feel like this video and this week ended up very differently than I expected. I am genuinely surprised at A, how much fun I had creating these TikToks and B, how like not out of touch I felt. Like I thought the joke of this video was gonna be like, ha ha ha, look at me trying to do the renegade dance. But honestly, I feel like not trying to do those trends and not trying to conform to like the idea of what TikTok is and just kind of like doing the weird crap that came into my brain without really worrying about if it was suited for TikTok. And then combining that with hopping on the trends that did seem fun and interesting to me, I feel like that's what made me have so much fun this week. And that's 
also why some of my TikToks actually did end up getting kind of a lot of views. My most popular TikTok of the week is the birthday party princess Anna story time that I did and that has 1.9 million views. It's funny because when I started this video and the scories told me I should probably try to post like one to three TikToks a day, that seemed like so absurd to me and like it would take so much time, but most days I ended up posting like four to five TikToks. And I think that's just because I was having so much fun with it. Like every idea I had, I was like, I wanna do this now. And because TikToks don't like take a lot of time and a lot of production, if I had an idea, I could film it and get it up in like 10 minutes. But the question remains, did I succeed in becoming TikTok famous in a week? I asked you guys on Instagram at the beginning of this week, what does it mean to become TikTok famous? And let's see if I accomplished any of these things. So the most common answers that I got were having over a certain threshold of followers. Most people said 100,000, a couple people said 1,000, a million, but like 100,000 seemed to be like the most accepted threshold. Having at least a couple viral TikToks and some people quantified viral as like over a million views always showing up on everyone's For You page and getting verified. So I'm actually kind of close to that like 100,000 followers mark. How many did I say I was at? 76,000 something. I feel like in another week I could be there. So not quite TikTok famous by that metric, but almost. Having at least a couple videos with over a million views, definitely. I think I had two with over a million and one that had like 900,000 something. I'd classify that as a couple. Constantly being on people's For You pages, that's a hard one to measure, but I would say yes, probably, because a lot of my TikToks were getting more views than I had followers. So like where else would those viewers be coming from if not the For You page? And getting verified, that is one thing I definitely did not do. I do not have the coveted check mark on TikTok. So TikTok fame is a difficult thing to quantify and measure, but I will say that I think this video and this week and my TikTok in general was much more successful than I anticipated. If any of you guys have TikTok and I popped up on your For You page with any of these videos that I filmed throughout the week, sound off in the comments because I would love to know. I think it's so interesting. And if you have a TikTok and you don't follow me, go ahead and do that if you want, because I wholeheartedly intend to keep posting on TikTok. I just think it's a fun, easy place to post some of the more stupid, I guess, content and ideas and stuff that I have that I wouldn't necessarily post on my YouTube or my Instagram. So I'm definitely gonna keep making TikToks and just being silly and doing dumb stuff over there. So you can follow me there if you want. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was really fun to make. Be confident, be kind to your body, and I will actually see you guys on Tuesday with a bonus video. Bye.